Hey guys, how it going? If we are Spark, we are back here in Elite Dangerous on a special little video. Don't recognize where we are. We are at John Jackson Rick Cobra. Uh, I apparently thought it was a Cobra Mark 1, but it is apparently Cobra Mark 3. I actually did a video before this, but the audio quality was terrible. So hopefully this audio quality will be much better. If not, I guess I'll take it. Uh, to find it here. I think it's right over the hill. Or I'm blind. There it is. Uh, luckily I've already scanned all the beacons and I've been here before, but yeah, I will go over the ship a little bit too. So I want you guys to hear the audio file. Hopefully the audio quality will be better this time. Something important. And I uh, couldn't say no. I wanted to be there, believe me, but uh, sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And, uh, well, this is one of those times. <laughs> I don't know if that makes much sense to you, but maybe it will do when you're older. Anyway, I thought I'd send you this log. I know it's not the same as being there in person, but uh, it's the best I can do. I'm sorry. I'm not really supposed to talk about my mission, but if I'm going to miss your birthday, the least I can do is give you a good story. Consider yourself sworn to secrecy, soldier, okay? <laughs> I'm sitting in the cockpit waiting for the old clear. Uh, they want to tinker with her for a while first, but they don't seem to have done any harm. All systems online, everything's, everything's looking good. I'd be lying. If I said I wasn't feeling just a little jittery. Uh, you know, I've fought bugs before, sure, but never more than one at a time. Flying up to one of their high ships, well, <laughs> well that's a whole different story. <laughs> Hell, I don't even know what I'm carrying. Classified, they said. All I know is it's designed to target the bugs hyperdrive so they won't be able to leave the system. Of course, if it doesn't work, I'm just kicking the hornet's nest. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, that's why I've set my nav system to jump out as soon as I've deployed the payload, you know. Can't be too careful. Wish me luck. <sighs> that was almost too easy. Thread my way past the perimeter, mask the heat signature so I get close to the superstructure. I tell you, I've never seen a half ship up close before. Doubt many people have. It was amazing, kiddo. Beautiful, really. Makes you realize just how smart they are, how how advanced. I admit it. I hesitated for a moment before I hit the button. I had to remind myself it wasn't them I was attacking, just their technology. Yeah. Let's see if this microwave virus theirs even works. Oh, man. I watched the payload rocket into the belly of their ship and stuck around just long enough to make sure it hit home. Then I punched the throttle. Whoa! Whew. I'm coming home, kiddo. I'm coming home. so we'd be safe again, so we could live without fear. Well, it did a hell of a lot more than that. There were sensors on the payload so I could monitor the reaction and make sure it activated properly. I I'm staring at the data now. It, the weapon is lethal. Think what it could do. They knew what it could do, and they used it anyway. How many? 
many have we killed? Thousands? Millions? God forgive us. Got myself a bit of a situation here, kiddo. My guess is that they installed a program in my ship and set it to trigger after I deployed the payload. All my systems are dead. The uh, controls are out. Can't even access the escape pod. And the ship is on a collision course. <laughs> and there is nothing I can do about it. We need to inspect your ship, Commander! <laughs> How did I fall for a ruse like that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, I'm at least partly to blame. I've gotten old, careless. I should have quit years ago. I guess I should have known they wouldn't be coming back. And the bugs are dangerous, no doubt about it. But, uh, well, this is mass murder we're talking about. Uh, you can understand why they want to keep it a secret. <laughs> I know some men wouldn't want to admit they killed thousands of sentient beings. Uh, I guess... I guess the guys back at base think they're doing me a favor by burying me out here in the black. Personally, I'd rather people knew what happened. Even if I didn't come out of it looking too good. I don't have much time. There's a big old plan in my viewport and it's getting bigger every second. People will talk about what I did after I'm gone, the missions I flew, the things I accomplished. There's something I want you to remember. No matter what they say, whatever garlands they hang on my name, whatever they write in my tombstone, you, you were my greatest achievement. Hey guys, I figured I'd talk a little bit about the uh, Cover Mark 3 here. I've been hope I've been having a little trouble with audio quality here lately. Uh, but yeah, it seems like I have a visitor too. Um, I wanted to say it looks like it only has one gun slot in the middle for the front medium weapon. And it still has the same small utility mounts and the same thrusters, just doesn't look like it has the heat vents like Mark 3 and Mark 4 does. It doesn't have the uh, cockpit right either, so I'm very puzzled why this is classified as a Mark 3. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to hear your discussion down below. Uh, I'm sorry it had to be filled in like this. Um, hopefully you guys will talk to me a little bit about this ship and also what you guys think of the Thargoids and also what happened here. I would love to hear what you have to say. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe, it does help the channel. And until then, catch you on the next one guys. See ya!